This episode of Fleet Equipments on the Road is brought to you by Gabriel. Visit www.gabriel.com for more information and enjoy the show. Hey Jason, are you sure you know where you're going? I think Dean's right. I don't recognize this at all. Nah, don't worry about it. This is a shortcut. Austin, Texas, home of delicious barbecue and a world-renowned live music scene, it also recently served as the site for the reveal of the 2017 powertrain lineup for Mack Trucks. The powertrain starts, of course, with the engines. Mack's 11-liter MP7 and 13-liter MP8 engines return in 2017, with new features including an updated wave piston design and an optional two-speed coolant pump. Also gone are the unit ejection pumps of last year's version. They've been replaced with a high-pressure common rail system, which leads to a quieter ride. All of this leads to fuel efficiency improvements between 2.5 and 5%, depending on downspeeding. The 445 horsepower MP8 engine will also be available with turbo compounding, which can provide an estimated 8 to 8.8% fuel economy improvement with as low as 900 RPM with full torque. Mac has also announced the release of the 13 and 14 speed M Drive HD automated manual transmissions for 2017. 13 speed M Drive HD, available in direct or overdrive configurations, is designed for easier starting on steep grades or when the truck is under heavy load. While the 14 speed version is available only in an overdrive configuration and adds a second ultra low speed reduction gear designed for curb pouring applications or low speed heavy haul maneuvering, according to Mac. Another optional feature now available for the transmissions is Mac Predictive Cruise, an intelligent GPS-based cruise control system. This system learns routes that the truck has run before, and based on this knowledge, is able to adjust speed, torque, and gear to match the topography that the truck is about to encounter. This can result in up to 1% fuel economy savings. Powertrain integration has become all the rage in recent years for fleets, and this is reflected in the numbers that Mac reports. According to the company, integrated units were specced in 80% of axle back and 60% of axle forward pinnacle units, 30% of Titan models, and 20% of granite models. Mac expects these numbers to continue to increase, and the evolutions brought by this 2017 powertrain lineup can only accelerate that growth. 